What is good, gang? What is good, gang? What is good, gang? So, the office is finally coming along. This shit has been a fucking mess all week. I finally got, like, I'm probably, like, almost, I'm probably, like, halfway done. I got mad shit I gotta do. I'm stressed. I'm doing all this by myself. But yep, everything's pretty chilling, everything's pretty chilling. So let's do a little walk around. I know it's kind of fucking mess in here. Don't worry, I'll have it cleaned out by the end of the week. Bro, let's talk about some crazy bullshit that just happened, right? So I don't know what I was doing, but uh, for some reason I ended up doing something to this PC over here, which is my main PC. It has my whole entire life in it. Yeah, for some reason the thing, I, I damaged a cable and uh, turns out the cable is the one that connects to the fucking internet. The damn internet. Like I couldn't have dam I couldn't have damaged anything else. Anything else. But whatever, I guess I'm just gonna get like the hard drive out of it and then put it in another PC and then burn it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Or maybe just donate it, see if anybody could fix it. Whoever wants it, that's all up to them. Anyways, oh well, actually I don't I don't really know. Anyways, I don't care. Uh so let's do a little walk around guys. Um I'm gonna be doing this is all gonna be like a little vlog slash breakdown. So we're gonna go over a trade that I did call on uh Friday which was a pretty good trade. And um, let's, let's go over some Friday trades that we did take. We took about three. We took three trades uh, on Friday. So um, we're gonna go over that. But let's just do a little walk around. So I got a little poster right here. You know, I usually have it in the back right there. But um, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to put it here under the TV. So I got my TV right there. So, you know, basically when I'm in here in the office bored or something, I don't wanna go to my room. And I, I just, I'll be real, I wanted to cover the space on that on this part of the wall. It was literally just, it's a big ass wall. I don't know what the hell I was gonna put there, but whatever, we put the wall there. We got a little lamp there. I don't know what I'm gonna do that. I gotta move that. We got this thing right here that I will be drawing and showing you guys and doing more, you know, education with that, like hands-on, literally hands-on. I will grab my hand and draw. Let me turn some more lights on here. It's pretty dark. And um, yeah, we're gonna be drawing on here and shit like that, showing you confirmations and stuff I look for in trades. So right here, I got my sitting desk, right? This is the desk that I chill in. And uh, basically, I like to sit down here and do my zooms and stuff like that. This, this chair actually, you know, actually gives massages and everything, by the way. Um, I need to get a new one because uh, for some, it's, I don't know, dude, like I'm kind of tired of it and um, whatever. I'll see what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I'll probably stay with it a little longer. It's kind of comfortable with no cap, so I don't know. I kind of want to find like a more. I want to. I want to find a chair that's like built for me. You know what I mean? You, know, you, you guys ever like just like I don't know. Just kind of get tired of your own fucking chair. But anyways, so this is where the setup where I'm gonna be sitting down doing zooms and stuff like that. As you can see here, I got my PS5 right here chilling. So you know, I don't go live in uh, New York sessions. So when I do trade the New York session, I probably just either watch some TV, kill some time, watch my trades, or you know, just play some PS5 while I'm watching my trades. Anyways, so this setup right here, um, I'm gonna be actually getting another desk here where I'm gonna be putting it right there, where basically what I'm gonna be doing is, um, it's gonna be like a stand-up desk, so that way I'll be able to kind of, uh, you know, have a chill sitting down session over here, and then over here I'll be able to like, kind of like aggressively scalp and stuff like that and whatever, so. Um, it'll be kind of cool. It'll be a stand-up desk. So, you know, this one actually goes up goes about my height literally like up to my height Yeah, like up to here. So it'll be kind of it'll be kind of dope and then I have the casting couch that I've got to move a little bit to the left and, um, But yeah, that's pretty much it man. But uh, anyways, that's what we got going on for the office right now I don't know what I'm doing with my posters. I gotta put them somewhere. But anyways, man We're taking too much fucking time. So let's get straight into this point So we're gonna be talking about what I like to call the gambler candle setup, right? So with this with this kind of gambler candle setup, this confirmation that I look for, basically, it, this is I I this little I I don't know gambler candle set I don't know we're just gonna call it a confirmation. So this candle this little kind of candle confirmation this little kind of like uh, how do you freaking call it, dude? Uh, I don't, whatever, I'm not even gonna get too professional with it. You know what I mean? Anyways, I simplify my shit so that way you got, you know, it makes sense and it's bad. I just gotta stop out. 
a break even on my fucking trade. Literally, I held it over the weekend. It was 50 pips in profit, and it officially just got fucking stuffed out. Two break even. That is so fucking annoying, dude. Oh my god, dude. I was up fucking 50 plus pips. This is why I don't swing trade, dog. This is why I do not fucking swing trade. Now, this is the worst part is what it's gonna do is it's most it just came to stop me out of break even, and then it's gonna fly it over all take profits. Son of a bitch. Anyways, whatever. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna talk about my favorite little confirmation whether it's to get into a trade or add on to a trade. It's perfect for scaling in and it's perfect for confidence and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Entries, scaling, confidence. Boom, perfect. So let's get this damn Sharpie and let's start drawing. <coughs> Anyways, guys, so over here, we're gonna talk about the gambler candle setup, right? Let's try it down. Let's write it down here. Gambler candle setup. Right, so this is the gambler. I don't even, you can't even see that. Anyways, whatever. So, <laughs> Jesus. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous, guys. Holy shit. Anyways, so look, this is what we're talking about when it comes to the gambler candle setup, right? Let's kind of zoom that in. Wow, let's just take it. That is, that is so slow. So look at this, right? So basically, this is what I mean about the gambler candle setup, right? Let's say that the trend is bullish, right? The trend is bullish, right? We know the trend is bullish. We have already identified the trend and everything. We know price is just waiting, you know, Price is just waiting for, you know, to create that little form of support after the retracement to continue going, you know, to where it's supposed to go. In this situation, the trend is bullish, meaning our retracement is this right here. This is our retracement, right? After a nice little push to the upside, breaking new highs, breaking market structure, you know, uh, continuation, whatever. Like I said, we're on a bullish trend, whatever. You know, we're going to have a retracement, right? So let's say, for example, we were bear, we were we were bullish during the New York session, and now during the Asian session, we're coming back to do a retracement, right? So look at this. Now price came back down, and then had a nice little bullish candle at this bearish candle, right? So this little candle confirmation right over here, a bearish candle also the bullish candle, our little candle confirmation right here, just created a minor level of support. This is our support right here, right? So now we have a support, but wait, it's a minor level of support. So there's a very strong possibility if price decides to reverse, it will break through very easy. If it was a stronger level of support, hopefully, you know, in confluence with a four hour previous resistance, now you're looking at a four hour break and retest in confluence, right? You usually get those. So uh, keep that in mind. Anyways, look at this. So now we got support. We got a nice little bullish candle, a following bullish candle right over here. And now we got a bearish candle. Now look at this price just created a resistance now, a little minor resistance. Now look at this. Now this is why we call it the gambler candle setup because after this retracement, it's there for you to actually, you know, think in my opinion, like, like I said, I look at trading like a game. I look at everything different and you know, I like to look at it like a game. So that way, you know, it's kind of more easier, you know, to explain and stuff like that. And also easier to kind of comprehend. We, I don't, I don't complicate my trading. And I guess that's why I've made it this far, right? So now we have a resistance and now we have a support. So now we have a little mini range. Cool. So like this, that's the fun part. Guess what? If price breaks above here, it'll continue flying and most likely mirror this move to the left side, right? But if it does melt under here, there's a very strong possibility it will go to the previous level of support, right? Or previous level of resistance. So this is the gambler candle that I'm talking about when it comes to a bullish bias, right? So now look, we have a little mini resistance form. Now look at this. That right there is there to scare you. That right there is there to scare you. That's why it's a nice little bearish engulfing, creating a little mini resistance after just created a support. And with this retracement, 
it's there to scare you or confuse you for you to take cells. But this is the part where you have to take, this is where you have to be patient. You have to be patient because the next candle, if it doesn't consolidate, it is very important. So in many, many situations, you will see this almost every single day, every single day. What I'm gonna wait for is, I could take an entry here, have my stops under here, or I could wait, or I could have took one here, or I could wait and take it here. Take one here or scale in here. So this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna look for, right? After price kind of created this little range, what I want to do is I'm gonna wait for this next candle. And you'll see it a lot where the next candle will be a bullish candle, right? And that's why we call it a little gambler candle. Because you got a lot of little gamblers in here that are gonna take freaking cells. The second that they see this little mini resistance form or this little bearish engulfing candle after it just completely, you know, drew a trace. So now look, with this bullish candle, this bullish candle just broke above this resistance right here, right? So now this is where the impulse entry happens. You could either take the impulse or you could wait for the candle close. Every single setup is different. So in this situation, almost every single time you see this little candle right here, that is also a retracement on a smaller time frame Fibonacci. So this right here is most likely either always going to be a one minute or a five minute Fibonacci retracement. And this right here, right here, bam, 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 is your newfound little support and continuation where most likely the next candle will come and mirror the whole entire move or just the retracement. And then price will continue going bullish. So this is exactly what I like to look for. The gambler candle setup. Now let's go to the fucking computer so I can kind of show it to you on a chart now. I did not press pause, okay. All right boys, so we're gonna go over the gambler candles, right? So right now we took a long on this GU setup. Of course it had to stop me out exactly at 950. Literally 950 over here, stop me out and then, you know, break even and then bam, of course, you know, it is continuing to, you know, fly up as I fucking called it. Uh, anyways, should have took my profit, but anyways, whatever, swing trading, swing trading. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to actually hold more positions and stuff like that. I didn't even take partials, guys. I didn't even take portions. Anyway, I left a few thousand on the table. I'm not worried about it. Uh, anyways, so let's go over the gambler candle setup, right? So look at this. We actually have one in freaking motion right over here as we speak. That's crazy. We took a, we took a long there, which is really, really nice. Uh, I actually took a long over here. I'm going to explain the reason why I took a buy over here is because I knew we were going to, I knew we were going to have a retracement and then have some type of uh, Fibonacci play, exactly, which is right here, which is the retracement, just like in the little breakdown drawing that I did show you guys. And then basically, you know, this was the retracement, and bam, we got in. Uh, what was our entry? A 31, right? If I'm not mistaken? Yes, look, 31. This is when we called the buy. Boom, entry 39.31, right? So let's go over it. So look at this, let me remove this Fibonacci. Let me remove this entry and now we got the Fib here. So we got the Golden Dome 100% respected. Right now currently rejecting estimates on a 30 minute, not really good, but it's fine once we start breaking above them or we're Gucci and trading above, fire. So let's go to the 15 minute, right? So notice over here on the 15 minute, sorry, um, we did have right over here, which was that bullish engulfing candle, which I did have an entry over here. Like I said, it was at 9, it was at 31 right over here. And the reason why I got an entry there was because that 30 minute started to kind of break above a little bit. So since it kind of like respected the low and it started breaking above this high and then breaking above this high, I kind of took the buy right there, right? So it was a pretty good call, a really nice call. And then look at this, what did price do? Price came and uh, had a little Fibonacci retracement. And as you can see here, 
We have a fib within a fib, 5618, also in confluence with the 8 SMA for buys. So in my opinion, like I said, this is bullish as fuck right now, in my opinion. Uh, now we just have to be patient. Look at the 10 minute. 10 minute, also beautiful candle confirmation. Look at this thing, dude. You know, retracement, support, now a little minor resistance, candle confirmation, uh, booby trap. Uh, not booby trap. Well, I guess you can call it booby trap. But anyways, a gambler candle setup. Bam. And of course, it happens all the time. Price flew about 15, about 14 pips from there. So now, okay, price is just kind of retracing a little bit for continuation. Um, it is three o'clock. It is the open of London session. Look at this one hour candle. One hour candle close like a straight nut, dude. So hopefully our one hour lows don't come down here. Hopefully these are just the one hour lows and we can get some continuation. That would be just the ideal play, right? Look at the four hour, right? Notice how the four hour is already trending a little bit. As you can see, we have a down channel, side channel. Now we have a Fibonacci up here on the four hour. So I do see price coming down. I do, I do see price coming up to 1.44. Yeah, 1.4 basically. Uh, there's no reason why it shouldn't. Even the four hour SMA, the four hour 50 SMA, how? <laughs> oh my God, sorry guys, excuse me. So look at this five minute, right? Notice how the five minute also had a gambler candle confirmation, but it's totally getting disrespected right now, right? But like I said, these calendar confirmations, you'll see them a lot. And um, going over here as well, let's go over the trade that we took on Friday. We actually called buys over here with this candle, this, uh, candle confirmation as well, right? So look at this. Bam. Over here, you can see the gambler candle confirmation on the buy. Over here, bam, right? There she goes, TP1 getting hit. So we ended up taking a buy over here, the candle confirmation, and then it just skyrocketed more than 40 pips. So like I said, guys, you know, it, these little setups, man, they work. You know what I mean? You got to look for the confirmations. And uh, that's basically what I wanted to, wanted to show you uh, in this video, guys. I wanted to kind of like introduce you to a little candle confirmation that I like to look for. And I like to use this confluences with my entries, especially when you know, when you've already identified the trend and you already have an idea as to where price most likely will go in the trend. So hopefully these SMAs will break. We already broke the highs of this candle. Hopefully there is no continuation to the downside for the London Open as we are kind of uh, doging right now on the 15 minute. So what I think is most likely gonna happen is we're gonna create a little mini resistance in order and the next candle will break it and then come over here and then keep going up. So anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I will be giving you guys a lot more content. Um, uh, I'm very excited for it and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And that is exactly what I'm talking about guys. So look at this, TP1 smash, 17 pips. And profit. Wow, I can't type. Stops to break even. Boom, beautiful. Now our stops are at break even, and this trade is officially risk free. So now I'm gonna go do that on my cell phone right over here. And then, yeah, basically, it. like I said, guys, this shit is not rocket science. You know, I teach this shit for a living. You know what I mean? I have so many successful students. Um, if you guys want to uh, learn from me, I have an educational platform where I can teach you guys everything that I know, how I trade, and um, how I attack these markets, man. You know, go to my website. It's down below. I also have my... Uh, I also have my free Telegram group in there as well where you guys can join. I do host some Zooms in there, you know, and stuff like that as well as, um, you know, also check down uh, the broker that I'm using below. It is GoatForex.com. Uh, everything will be, low, will be below, guys. And um, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video, man. I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Peace out. Oh, and by the way, my Signal team is eating, dog. Damn.